Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You are listening to Light Up Vichwa, a weekly podcast on conscious living and parenting. My name is Shwa and I'm your host and founder of this podcast. I hope you have already subscribed to this podcast on iTunes, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, or YouTube channel where you can watch and see and um, on other social media platforms and on Facebook, Instagram, wherever it's comfortable for you. But my focus is on what I am creating every day for you and bringing it to you weekly. Whether it's sitting with a guest on those questions that I ask usually and ends with what lights you up since more than two years that I have been talking to different types of people about conscious living and parenting and reflecting through their lives what can we learn. I am going to be giving you more um, tips, skills about conscious parenting and conscious living that I have experienced and I will be of course I learned it from other people who have done it, who have written about it, um, all my virtual scholars. So I will be consulting multiple resources, online books, and um, definitely people who I am in touch with, who I interview. So I look forward to our uh, sittings every week on these topics so this week will be um, how to protect ourselves from being fearful from depression but foremost my topic is Every which week. is that how can we be good empathetic human beings upbringing of a human being is not a simple task. Now how that parent or parents bring their child up and of course it's a cycle how you were brought up and that's what you do to your children. So I want to talk about those cycles if it has been disordered uh, upbringing or dysfunctional how we must break that cycle how we should not repeat the negatives that our elders or our adult parents did and how to make our lives better, how to take the responsibility and bring up, if you have children, if you want to have children or you have children, how to manage yourself in order to have better children who will be better human beings and of course uh, vice versa, that helps you to be become a better person as well. But we have to pay attention to ourselves first. That's what I have learned. I used to think, just like um, many people, that you you just keep your focus on your children, that they are not doing this or this is how they're behaving. Uh, you know, all the problem and issue is with your children. But with time and research, and uh, first of all, of course, I paid attention to myself. Um, I became a conscious parent uh, very big in the very beginning of uh, after I, ha I had both my boys. Um, before they were born, I was, uh, you know, reading and paying attention. Uh, how will I have children and what's this whole cycle of pregnancy and all that but then as soon as they were born I was on it on this case that okay how am I going to bring them up of course I learned it from what my parents did but then there were things that I didn't agree with so I didn't want to do those and there were some things that I really appreciate what my parents did. And my father once told me, 
and that was such a good suggestion and I have given that to my children and I would give it to you that you can use it wherever it's appropriate to tell your children that yes you are not a perfect parent you are not a perfect uh, human being but whatever good they find in your parenting and in your relationship they can keep it and they can use it for their life and whatever they don't find appealing or appreciate or don't agree with they can let it go leave it if they are so aware that we are doing something which is not right or they don't like it they would never do it then they should stop right then and there and they shouldn't repeat that cycle so that's how you can break the cycle but the awareness should be there there has to be a conscious intention to do that so that's what i would say that we need to work on ourselves first and then um, model the things we say show it through action and that's the only way if we are doing it our children will watch us see us and then act upon it so for today's um, session I would like the parents to Oh, before I go further, I would like you guys, all the parents and um, adults who are planning to become parents, those young uh, couples who are planning to have children, I hope you can prepare yourself before you become a parent. That is very important. Think about it, what type, uh, your values, you should match your values, both of you. What type of uh, household do you want? how will you uh, bring them up what type of education all so uh, to have that um, rough draft and it will never be final so don't make it final it will be always be evolving and you will be editing your draft of how will you want to bring your children how do you want your home life to be and how do you want to model that to your children is very important that you decide if you don't you don't have children please do it now it is better than doing it later i wish i had more awareness and consciousness of it when i was very young that if if i want to have children then how should i think about it at least start with that not that oh you just get married and then you have children and now you're thinking like okay what do i do now hmm no let me get some the uh, some resources and books and all yes you can catch up of course i did but i was still a little bit better prepared before but not as much as i would have liked to be so i would suggest uh, from my experience that if you can do that beforehand and it is not going to be the last word you just have to have a, some structure and that will help you and it is good that you keep evolving and keep adding to it that oh this doesn't exactly work now and this is how i should but there have to be some fundamental basic foundational um, values and rules and things that you and those will be for yourself not for your children but i would say for yourself and for your children you should start thinking which i wish i had it that what are your boundaries what are your children's boundaries boundaries are very important i wouldn't use limitation i don't like to use that word in this situation boundaries is really good because yes you can be in the house and do everything but that is your boundary right like a 2 year old cannot just wander on the street without uh, any supervision unless it's a village then you know everybody and that's a different story but for nowadays the way life is you want to give your children protection as well i hope that the society comes to a level where we don't have to think about it that way but unfortunately that's where i wanted to begin and i would like to say 
that we in order to have good human beings where we don't have to have these labels of black lives matter or all lives matter or color matters all these in today's age um in my view are um, it's sad to have that because by now we should be beyond it all this technology all this progress you know what's the point if we can't even value the human life the human being and that's why for me it's so in so important to share that i feel that good conscious living which is part of many traditions and faiths can be beneficial in bringing good human beings where we can value doesn't matter which color you are so for today i would say that parents need to bring their children up in a way that we do not have racism at all it's a tumor in our societies all over the world in the us especially that we need to remove it right now this is the time to do it we need to come back from extremes we do not need to be to extremes we we need to treat our children because i think that is one of the major causes that we have violence in the houses and uh, violence in our lives and that just uh, uh, keeps going on because we are not breaking the cycle we are not understanding how detrimental it can be in one's life so parents need to pay attention to themselves physically emotionally and spiritually and that's how we can move forward from uh, being uh, better human beings and that can save us from depression and um, have uh, healthy minds with healthy bodies so i'll give you uh, an exercise today and i hope when we meet again uh, you will have some um, some of you can do this exercise and have some answers you can go to my website lightupichwa.com and uh, there is a section uh, you can comment i will put these questions there maybe that will make it easier for you to just go to that section and reply and let me know what you think so write down three things you enjoy about your children about your child now this is child focused exercise and i want uh, another exercise that will be on you write down three things that you are not very comfortable with your children about like you don't like three things so first is that you enjoy with your children three things that you enjoy with your children or child second exercise is write three things that you feel are very challenging and uncomfortable to do or about your child and the third exercise is now for you so first two are related to your children and the third is to you what are the three things that you like about yourself and what are the three things that you do not appreciate in yourself so four questions two related to your child or your children and two related to yourself i would say it's enough for today um hope to meet you again with more exercises and more talk about how to bring up conscious aware mindful human beings so that our world is a better place please subscribe to my website to my channel light up pichwa it's on youtube as well i would appreciate you uh, if you can subscribe there leave a comment uh, press the bell icon so you can get the updates 
um, and uh, share with your friends and family if you like what I am saying. If you find any value, please do so. And uh, till we meet again, thank you.